Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors, but I'm not gonna lie. I am about to jump into the Yeti to fish for this video, possibly the next video. We shall see, but I'm back up at Lake Winnipeg fishing with a good buddy, Chris Gone, and uh, I'm going to attempt to do my top five walleye again in 24 hours. The top five Lake Winnipeg walleye challenge in 24 hours. I did this last year, same place, stayed with Chris, and I think I had 113 and three quarter inches. I never got any big mamas. I think the biggest one I had was like a 25 and a half, which is an amazing fish. But Chris has put some clients on some giant walleyes so far this year, and I am pumped. Anybody that follows my channel for a long time knows that I like to do a lot of outside fishing with my snow wheel, running and gunning, the elements. I'm not scared of braving the elements, but once in a while, if I have an opportunity to fish inside a nice Yeti, maybe pop, pop on some Netflix. Tonight, we're doing actually a Q&A on the ION Facebook page as well with Jay and I. That will be linked below somehow if you want to see a Q&A for that. But other than that, I'm going to jump in the sea. It's already two o'clock. I've got a late start to the day, but I had a long drive here. We're gonna jump in the, the couch, stare at the screen for a little while, sit in the comforts of a Yeti. I know after I fish in here, it's always hard to go back outside. So we'll go see if we can pop some greenbacks. I say on the ice, but technically, I guess it's on the ice, but it's inside the shelter. Let's do it. I'm gonna take off the whole covers for now. Since I really don't need them, we're gonna fish without them. We'll put the whole covers back on later. Look at, I'm in shorts, baby. Shorts and sandals. Hello, this is amazing. I'm so excited. Live scope right here. Oh, there's a fish. Ooh, 36 feet away. We gotta get down. We gotta get down. Jigging spoon in one and jigging minnow in the other, I think, right? That's probably the play, I think. I don't have any bait on yet or anything too, so we gotta get all of that. Oh, a bunch of bait on the screen. Okay, I've, I've just uh, got all my gear, I haven't even got anything organized yet set up. I just threw a spoon down right away. We'll get a jig in the middle going as well, right here. And we'll see if we can make something happen. It's nice because I have a couple days out here on the lake where I can, I can spend one day in the shack like this and the weather's gonna be nice. I can spend one day where I hole hop around a little bit and find some aggressive feeding fish. But for tonight, this is what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hang out in the shack because it is already two o'clock, like I said. Get a late start. And we're gonna hopefully have some evening action. Mm, 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 mm. Fish, fish, fish. Small one again though. Another sauger probably. Come on. Mm, I don't think this one's a sauger. Don't think this one's a sauger. That's a walleye. That's a walleye. We're on the board of the walleye. Well, good old Clayton fashion. We got ourselves an eater. We're uh, not keeping any fish today, but probably tomorrow though. We'll get him measuring back in. Okay, we're on the board with a 19 and a quarter. Can't quite get 19 and a half. The old jig in the middle. We're on the board anyway. On the board. I just enjoying myself some uh, strawberries and kiwi when that fish came by. Last time I was in here, I had the live scope hooked up to the big TV, which is amazing. I just can't screen record off of it or I haven't figured out how to screen record off of it yet. So I'm just using the live scope on the regular Garmin screen, right? Because it's amazing when it's hooked up to the TV, right? And these ice shacks are just like, oh, this is so cool. But nothing wrong with this. I just want to be able to screen record. Chris does have it set up where you can have the live scope literally sitting right here on this TV and that TV. You can fish right down the middle of the shack, another person over there, and you guys can both watch your hooks on the screen the whole time. It's pretty cool. I'm seeing quite a few marks, like 34, 30 feet that way, 25 feet. I'm tempted to maybe man up and put some pants on 
and uh, some boots and some bibs and have a couple holes drilled out there with my flasher set up and I could just jump back and forth, right? Keep one rod always in here, jigging a minnow and then just jump out there if I see some marks coming. Cause like right now there's a fish here, it's 32 feet away that way and it's like just ever so slowly crawling on the bottom. There's also a fish right now that's eight feet away that's just sitting there. It looks like it's a rock, but that's not a rock. But this one coming in here, that's 26 feet now. This is a big fish. This is a big one for sure. Like that is a tank. Oh, keep coming. I'm gonna just ever so slightly move my jig not going to move it much but that is a big one it's a 24 feet right now and yeah i'm thinking of maybe just drilling another hole out there for situations like this that i could pop out and fish the flasher that's a big fish keep coming buddy yeah like that's that's 25 plus i would think Obviously, this is my first time fishing walleyes in a while, so I'm going to have to like go through that whole judging stage again on the live scope. I'm coming off of a lake trout trip where fish look a lot differently, right? So this fish is, he, you see he's just coasting, and once in a while he just gives a kick. He's getting closer though. He's 14 feet away. I'm going to start talking a little bit more quietly now. I'm going to hardly move this. Jig and minnow, I've got a live minnow here right now. And the dead minnow right here. I'd say it's like a 20, 25 inch or plus for sure. I'm pretty sure 10 feet away. Oh, when they come slow, it's so nerve wracking. Keep coming, buddy. 12 feet away. Keep coming. Keep coming. Don't get held up by that other fish that's down there. Don't get held up. There's another fish he's going right by. That's a fish that's there. It's not a rock. They're just in such a negative mood right now, for sure. Like, they're just kind of hanging around out there. The wind changed overnight, which can have a lot to do with it, right? Like, pressure change, wind change. We just need, need it to stabilize again. I think we're going to crush them yet. Whether it's today or tomorrow, we're gonna crush some fish. Okay, I got a couple holes drilled out there with the flasher set up that I can run quickly out there if I start to see some fish. I probably have them about 20, 22 to 26 feet away, somewhere in there. Also too, what I could do is if I start seeing a bunch of fish out there, I could always set up a finicky fooler out there, have the flag set up out there and then fish a dead bait, not a dead bait, but a, an active bait inside. Nice suspended one coming in here. I'm just pull my live minnow up a little bit too here. It's just the way they kick and glide. Kick and glide. It's crazy to watch. They're gonna just gliding. Oh, now he kicked. Kick and glide. It's coming. It's 15 feet away. Lots of nice fish, that's for sure. I just need the bite to turn on, and we're gonna smash them. It's gliding. Nothing's coming in hot and heavy, that's for sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That thing hit it pretty solid, that's for sure. Oh, it's right there to the bottom of the ice already. That's a nice one. <laughs> Not huge, but nice. Man, he came in slow, but he definitely, he hit it with authority. Okay, we'll measure it and then we'll show it off. 21 and three quarter. Well, the good news is we're going in the right direction. 21 and three quarter, beautiful green back. See ya. When they are suspended like that, 
when they hit, oh, you just shot right back down. When they hit, they're like, they're at the bottom of the ice instantly. That is so cool. The old frosty clown fish rattle bait tantrum. It's a good one for me. Caught a lot of nice walleye on it in the past. So you can tell I'm still, I'm still geared up. I was, I did have a rod out there for a little bit and I've been kind of mixing it back and forth. I've been pulling it out right now. And then if I see a fish, reel this one in, jump out there with actually this rod or I have another rod sitting on my tailgate in my truck out there too that I can grab with a jig and a minnow. But we'll just sit here and hopefully get some more fish come in. Those suspended fish, in my experience, definitely can be a little bit more aggressive. You can tell that one wasn't as big of a mark as some of those other ones I've seen crawling on the bottom, though, that's for sure. Got a mark down there. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Oh, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Well, having the holes drilled out here, maybe paid off a little bit. Not a huge one, but it's an eater. It's an eater. Do I count them for my top five? Nah, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna let them go right here, in the, right outside. Best part about this, I get a fish all night. It's gonna be hard for me to like, actually shut my eyes and go to sleep later. I'm just gonna wanna fish the whole night. This fish, they're just so negative right now. There's been a pile of fish around. Like if they, if they turn on, it's gonna be lights out. This one doesn't look that big, but if these fish that are kicking around turn on, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hammer down. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, one of them ate. One of them ate. He's right here. <laughs> that was right below the ice. Right below the ice. Choke that rattle bait. There's a fish on my, looking at my live minnow too right now. Biggest of the day, still not huge. We're definitely looking for bigger, but it is, uh, well maybe not quite biggest of the day, I guess. 19 and three quarter again. At least we've got three fish registered. Only place to go from here is up. And this fish is all over this live minnow here too. It looks about the same size. Maybe we'll get a doubler here, basically. Well, kind of a double. Come on. Should probably drop the rattle bait down for him. Cause that's what the other one wanted. Oh, he's thinking he's right below the ice. Right below the ice. Right there, I'll see if we can get him to come with a rattle bait, I think instead. Oh, he's still looking at the live minnow. Definitely thinking about it. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Okay, well, like I figured about another one, probably around that same size-ish. Well, probably not the best lighting right now, but we pumped another one here in the Yeti. We'll get him a quick measure. Another 19 and three quarter. I think that's my third. 19 and three quarter, maybe one of them is 19 and a half, but okay, back down you go. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Come here. Again, I don't think it's very big. Come on. Maybe a rattle bait. Oh, we turned on it, we turned on it. Going right up at the live minnow. I'll just watch it. She grabs it. It's right on it. Right on it. Just letting it do its thing. I wonder if I should slowly pull it away, maybe. Just slowly pull it up. Yeah, I like that. Look at him stretch. Look at him stretch. I like when they stretch. When they stretch, that's a good sign. It's always a good sign when they stretch out. Okay, well, biggest of the day, I think now for sure. Okay, we'll get a quick measure. We'll show them off, get them back. 22 and a half. Well, biggest of the day at 22 and a half. See ya. Well, that was a flurry of fish right there. I'm going to put those in there with uh, 
19.75 and 22 and a half. So we've got five decent ones. Obviously we're looking for bigger. I think though, I'm going to get out of these bibs. I'm, I'm hot in here right now. It's, it was okay when I was running in and out, but I think I have these fish that are, they're starting to be a little bit more active and I don't have to run around and jump outside as much. So I'm just gonna get out of these bibs and fish them inside here. Back to shorts and sandals. This is amazing. Love it. The sun is set. It's obviously starting to get dark, even though it's still, you know, it's dusk, I guess the guy would say. But things are things are good. I'm I'm off to a better start than I was last year in the first evening. So things things are looking good. I like this. Oh, something rising off the bottom here. Come on. Come on. Stretch up. Stretch stretch come on stretch do it do it come on it's decent fish that's a decent fish come on buddy stretch keep stretching wow what a light bite i could easily lose that it was so light <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That stretch is so crazy. Okay, quick measure. That's an upgrade from our small one right there. 24 and a quarter. I've got fish everywhere down there right now. So we've got to get this guy back. 24 and a quarter, a nice upgrade for sure. Love watching those fish stretch like that. That is so cool. Rattle bait with no bait at all. Oh, another one. Well, this one's smaller though. But another one come up instantly right here. I think this one's smaller. Yeah, he's definitely much smaller than that last one. <laughs> he's a little guy. I love this whole like just staying on the ice like this. Like this is, oh, this is amazing, right? Like, yeah, you could winter camp, be good. But this is, this is the life. Well, so far the hot bait's been the rattle bait with no bait at all. The live minnow has caught a couple fish. The um, Google Eye Jig with its salty has caught a couple fish, but the rattle bait's been the, the hero so far. The frosty Clownfish, the 60 millimeter tantrum. This right here in this rod is the True Grit 38 medium from Frostbite, and then this one is the 39 medium light, the, um, sorry, I got a fish coming here, I lost my train of thought. It's the Drench, which is my favorite little dead stick rod. It's a little guy, so I'm not too into catching him. But this is the Drench, 39 medium light, awesome dead stick rod. It's a fiberglass rod. It's a really, really good rod for fighting big walleyes. A little guy, yeah, little guy. Just, just took my minner off, too small, too small. Well, seven o'clock, things are good. There's definitely fish around. I think I'm gonna have some pulled pork from a big smoke, a barbecue. We're gonna boil it up on the stove. Yeah, pulled pork sandwiches, pretty pumped. Best barbecue I've ever had, 100%. I've had the pulled pork once last year, actually, when I stayed here with Chris. So this is just a frozen boil bag right here. We're gonna wait till this pot gets boiling. We're gonna put in that bag for 20 minutes, then we're gonna eat. Oh, pulled pork, big smoke barbecue. They do deliver uh, on the ice, I believe, if you put an order in. And also to, don't quote me on that one though. I'm sure, I, they, they might, that, don't quote me on that for sure. But they can pick them up right in Steinbach and they do actually ship in Canada now. So contact Big Smoke Barbecue on Instagram or Facebook and he'll send you an order sheet and they will ship in Canada. This fish has slowly made its way over to 15 feet now. Like it's hardly, hardly moving, but it is coming my way is what it looks like. I might get one shot at this. I'm guessing I'm gonna try to do a subtle presentation. If it does come this way, 
if it goes right by the jig in the minnow here I'll just go fishing with the rattle bait but I'm gonna think I'm going to attempt to catch them with the jig in the minnow first though I don't want to move too much this thing honestly this fish has been slowly coming in for probably the last 10 minutes I bet you it's insane it's just like hardly hovering it's now at 10 feet it's a big fish like there's no doubt it's a, a good one for sure it's 10 feet from the pole so it's only about seven feet from my jig and minnow right now the question is is it gonna eat oh, it's getting like two more kicks that's probably gonna be here right it's just gliding ever so slightly it's a big fish get over here crazy how slow these walleye move it's closing the gap it's definitely closing the gap oh it's a couple of feet a couple feet I'm gonna hardly move it I am gonna probably raise it though if it gets close I'm gonna try to stretch it when I say stretch it I mean like get it vertical if you get those fish to stretch out straight up and down you have a good chance to make them bite I feel like it's slowly it's like a foot or two away from my bait right now it's not making really any movements towards the bait though here we go here we go come on a little bit closer there there now I'm just slowly yeah that's a big fish keep stretching big fish big fish come on eat it eat it eat it stretch stretch keep stretching keep stretching keep stretching keep stretching no 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 rattle bait rattle bait oh no 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 that was my chance oh I can't believe that where did it go oh man I'm gonna try to drop it down in the dirt one time Okay, it's still coming this way. I'm not giving up on him yet. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, this is good. Stretch. Stretch up. Oh, it's another one coming from the side. I don't like this. I want that one. I want that one. Oh, man. I don't know. This one's coming in, too. It's going to eat the rattle bait. This one ate the rattle bait. The other one was definitely bigger. I'm pretty sure this one feels nice though too oh man that other one was big oh darn it I can't believe I'm, I'm I'm excited to catch this fish too but that other one was a tank oh this fish is fat 23 and three quarters oh man that's a girthy one a very girthy 23 and three quarters just think that other one was looked way bigger than this. Oh, slipped out of my hands a bit, but she'll be good. Okay, just took an hour break to go do that Ion Live Q and A with Jay, hosted by Joel Nelson. I was, I thought it was really good. Thank you to everybody that did come log online there on Facebook and ask some questions. We went for over an hour, and it was was awesome i'll leave a link below if anybody that wants to uh listen to that q a you can probably go find it still on facebook it was really really good i just stepped out side and did it in my truck chris does have starlink in his shacks but the shack that's next to me has the actual starlink in it because he has pain guests right now right that he's taking care of and i just pulled up my truck a little bit closer to it and uh logged on and it was good and i've got fish as soon as i got back in crawling in here 
Uh, Chris texted me, and just as I was starting to do the podcast, the other shack caught a 29-inch walleye. So this is good. The night bite is is legit. I love it. I'm so excited to be here for for at least one more night. But if it's really good, I might have to stay another night, an extra night. Oh, it's fish coming. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, don't go there. Come to me. Oh, here it comes, hon. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's a nice one. Come on. Eat it. It's a nice one. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Get eat it. Get eat it. Get eat it, hun. I got it. I'm on the phone with Cindy. I'm on the phone with Cindy and I just hooked into a nice one. Nice. Not huge, but it's nice. I'll tell you right away. It's it's 21. On the phone with Cindy. What time is it right now? 21. And Cindy says it's 10.59. 21 inch at 11 o'clock. 21 inch at 11 o'clock. So I just got Cindy to add up all the totals for me so far. I'm at 113 and a quarter, which puts me only, I think, a half an inch shy from my last year's total for my top five. So definitely a better bite so far. I haven't even fished for a full 12 hours yet. I've still got lots to go to crack my score from last year in a 24 hour Yeti challenge. I love it. Well, a little midnight update. It's good, things are good. I've only caught one fish since I did that podcast. I uh, caught one at 11 o'clock there with Cindy, but no complaints. Like I've got so many fish around. If these fish start snapping, it's gonna be lights out. Like, obviously I won't show them all in this video, but like there's just fish moving steady. Like things are good. Every like it's keeping me busy. It's midnight. Like I should be thinking about sleeping yet. There's so many fish going. I'm really thinking about just putting a pillow and a blanket on the couch and just kind of hanging out. Maybe turn the TV on here. Since he has uh, the internet, he has Amazon Prime and Netflix. If you were here in the Super Bowl, you could watch the Super Bowl. Things are amazing. Just gonna hang out, enjoy life in the Yeti. But if it's midnight, it means I've been fishing for a total of 10 hours so far. It is trying to make it like a 24 hour challenge and I will sleep for a little bit. And then tomorrow I'll have like a, a full day basically of fishing, so. We'll see here, we'll kind of hang out. Maybe it'll end up being more than 24 hours, but either or, our goal is still to put a great big one on the ice. I'll do a tour of the Yeti tomorrow. We're gonna have a fish fry as well. Chris cooks for his guests in the ice, in the ice Yetis or those ones that want them anyway. He'll do a shore lunch for you. So we'll catch some eaters in the morning. We'll have a fish fry for lunch and just enjoy life. Come on. Come on. Oh, he bumped it. He bumped it. Come on. Here he comes back. Stretch. Wow. <laughs> just woke up. Like, just woke up. <laughs> there is a fun start. <laughs> I just got up. It is 7.30 in the morning. I just woke up, turned on everything, and boom, fish instantly. This fish right here coming in at 24 will put me over my top five from last year awesome and there's fish all over there okay i have cameras rolling but we really got to get situated the bed's not even fully made yet here we got to get going because there's fish happening now we'll add that fish to our total but like i said that will have put me over my score from last year so now now we just go up this is awesome look at that like in less than 24 hours i've 
four fish or five fish, sorry, that are all bigger than 21 and three quarter. 21 and three quarter is what we're upgrading now. Lots well, of fish moving. I think it's time for a little breakfast. I think we're just having a muffin and some orange juice this morning. And uh, yeah, I have no idea what we're really gonna talk about today. I think I'm gonna fish just in the Yeti, I think. Since there's so many fish moving around and then tomorrow for my last day, I think I'm gonna go do a run and gun mission on Lake Winnipeg with my trucks. Travel conditions are amazing this year. It's just, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy out here for the amount of snow and ice as in there's not much at all from what I was, when I was, compared to when I was here last year anyway. Suspended fish. Come on, come on. Oh no, no way. As if. Can we give me another chance? It hardly, hardly ate it. It looks like an eater sized fish, which is perfect because we need some for lunch, for supper actually. Come on. My minnow's falling off right now. You see that minnow's falling down? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't need a minnow to catch him. It was falling off. We got an eater. We got an eater. Well, a little mid morning update. Things are, are good. It's been slower this morning. But to be fair, yesterday Chris said it was slower in the morning before I got here as well. I'm not seeing as many fish on the screen right now, but I honestly just feel it's only a matter of time before they move through again. It's 10.30. I do have one fish on the ice there so far for a shore supper I think we're gonna do. We're gonna cook some fish on the ice at some point. And yeah, just enjoy the day. It is honestly beautiful outside. It probably wouldn't hurt to run and gun a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna enjoy my time in the Yeti. I'm going to turn on the TV and uh, yeah, just watch some TV, hang out and enjoy, enjoy the day. It's not very often I get to relax as I'm fishing. And that's exactly what this feels like is I'm relaxing as I'm fishing. It's quite enjoyable, I'm not gonna lie. Well, a little midday update. Things are going good in the Yeti. I've got a disaster, of course. I've got my charging station. I've got batteries everywhere. I've got tackle here. I've got clothes. I've got my bed stuff. We've got more depth finders. We've got the boil pot that we had the big smoke barbecue in last night. We've got a bucket of rods. We've got boots because I'm still in sandals even when I go outside. My feet are wet. But... I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun. I can honestly say that, I don't know the last time that I have never fished hard, as in like, just sit back and relax. This is uh, very easy going. I did just have a nice big mark come in, sniffed the live minnow and took off and that was it. It's just been, it's been tough but it's also midday. I think I've been fishing now for about a total of like 16 hours just hours straight type of thing. Not straight, but 16 hours total. Obviously I slept at night and didn't fish, but we're on our way for the, the 24 hour Yeti fish challenge. We have beat last year's score. Things are going good. Chris is out right now actually looking for more spots to move the Yetis to. He has all three Yetis booked right now. I don't, I might only overnight two of them or whatever. I think I forget what his permit is exactly, but he does have people out during the day as well. But he has all three Yetis full and he's even looking for new places to move the Yetis again. He's out kind of scouting around with some guys that came out to fish and they're not, they're kind of doing like a little bit of a run and gun. Chris still does offer the run and gun a little bit, but honestly, he stays so busy with the Yetis and moving them around. He doesn't really offer much of the run and gun anymore. It's more of just come fish in the Yetis. Tomorrow, I'm going to home base out of the Yeti, but I'm going to go run and gun, which is obviously something you can do, right? You can come rent the Yeti to stay here at night, fish for a few hours, however you want, and then move around and run and gun. However you want to do it, whether you want to move around the whole lake and fish aggressively or they want to sit back both options are here i love it things are good it's foggy outside but it's warm might watch a movie here i think in a little bit and just kick back and wait for the night bite because yesterday when i got here it took a little bit and then it started to fire up so we still might crush a big one in this video i'm hoping it's not a huge one but come on come on 
<laughs> oh yeah well chris's good luck stop stops by what a nice 21 incher night bite prime time baby i think it's an upgrade though i do i think it's an upgrade we're going to 20 and a half so no i don't think it's an upgrade well 20 and a half incher going home well as i continue to ride the struggle bus you can see it's dark i can't get the big fish to commit at all chris has been slaving all day with different sets of clients and some of his other shacks who by the way have been catching big fish there's been a 30 incher caught since i've been here a 29 multiple 25 26s just nothing for this guy clearly it's me and it's not chris but look at this he slaved all day and he's cooking up supper yet too like are you kidding me he's giving me the full treatment i'm spoiled chris big time yeah yeah i love it i wish the fish the big fish gods would spoil you <laughs> it's all good dude it's all good he i i know the grind 100 percent 100 percent hey i beat last year's score already okay anything else is just bonus now uh we still got time still got time lots of time last night last night i had my best probably bite in the night and then actually the shack beside me they got a 29 inch at eight o'clock at night so things aren't over yet yeah it's been the best night bite i've ever witnessed out here on this lake it's just this year at night they're fired up pretty good so that's awesome so it's like i know in the past it was like they don't bite at night they don't bite at night there's no point fishing at night but now with having the yetis on the ice Chris has proven that theory completely wrong. And there's been lots of big fish and numbers of fish caught at night. There's nothing better than just fishing all night. You can throw a movie on. He's got Starlink hooked up. You can watch a movie, watch Netflix and fish at the same time. So good. One sec, one sec. Got him. Bro. It's not huge, but it's definitely a fish. Nice. We got him, we got him. I finally connected with one. I outsmarted him. Not quite. 21 inches. 21 incher. So not quite an upgrade. Oh my goodness. Well, look at this. We got the wings right here. Cheeks. A filet. Some tartar sauce from Big Smoke. And some french fries. I'm excited. Oh boy. Something just ate. I think I had some big ones came in. I think I got a small one out of them. I got one though, babe. I got one. Did you? Yeah, I got a fish. You? Yep, you're good luck. <laughs> Thanks. We got ourselves an upgrade. 22 and a quarter on the, on the FaceTime with Cindy. 22 and a quarter. A 9.30 upgrade. And I've got another fish down there. I've got some fish on my screen over there, so I'm gonna put this guy over here to release him on this side of the shack so he doesn't spook my fish here. Well, I did release that fish on the other side of the shack, which was nice, because I had fish right here below my other rod, but when I came back over here, the fish were was gone anyway. But having those the holes over there, I didn't drop this fish, you know, like release it right here and spook out the fish that I had below me, because I am only in 10 feet of water, so that fish would go down and would spook those other ones out right away. Unfortunately, it didn't work out this time, but it could work out in the future though. Well, that will wrap up my trip in the Yeti. But the good news is it doesn't wrap up my trip yet. I got one more day. So I'm going to still try to film another video. And the next video, I'll talk a little bit more about rods, lures, all that stuff. This one was more about just relaxing in the Yeti, having a good time. And uh, I did just that. I was managed to beat my last year's sco score in the the, the the 24 hour challenge basically so next year i'm going to beat it again and i'm going to crush a big lake winnipeg walleye at some point yet it's funny how the the big greenback has eluded me so far but it'll happen maybe it'll be in the next video anyways thank you so much for watching and don't forget get outside <laughs>